Joe as we kick off this tables match. Man, my body hurts just thinking about the punishment one of these competitors is about to go through. Bobby Roode looking good tonight. Truly worthy of the expensive bronze he wears to the ring. I can't believe I'm agreeing with a guy who shops at Suit City, but if these were fashion competitions, his opponents would have already lost. I don't believe it. In that table control, he careers, Michael. Oh, that's the impact. Oh, a shot. Oh, ooh, ooh. What a knee lift. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. He's stuck with his opponent from the top turnbuckle. in the ring, the Florida native was a defensive lineman at the University of Iowa. The powerhouse then turned his attention to powerlifting, where he broke many records as a super heavyweight. It's no wonder Big E is a former NXT, Intercontinental, and Tag Team Champion. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was properly executed. Big E's athletic career was certainly impressive before the big man entered sports entertainment. Just to put this in perspective, Big E squats more than 700 pounds, bench presses 575 pounds, and deadlifts an unbelievable 806 pounds. We can talk about the power, positivity, uniforms, and booty holes all you want, Michael Cole. Actually, let's not. But what Big E's able to accomplish in the weight room is just awesome. On second thought, it's downright scary. Through Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for him to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Kofi Warrior with Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assault. Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a backseat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Torture your opponents now. I like it. Shoulder tackle. Set him up. Press in the right sweep. There are so many different ways for a superstar to put their opponent through the table in a tables match. Some matches start off as wild brawls and a table is brought out from under the ring and the match is opening minutes. In others, superstars are very strategic about when they bring out a table because they know if they're not careful, momentum can be reversed and they could end up being the one who goes to the table. talked about strategy that involves a tables match. I was in WWE when the Dudley boys came from ECW, and you could say that things changed a bit thanks to Bubba and Devon. Something that's also important to remember in a tables match is that it's not important how or where the table is positioned. All that matters is that you put your opponent through it. It's a very simple premise, Michael, but superstars have to be careful. They launch an attack that goes awry. Their own momentum can put them through the table and cost them the match. That doesn't include stealing the incredible pain from crashing through it. Ooh, it goes. I love that move. That could be a game changer. We're used to seeing Triple H make history in the ring as a competitor, but to even this in August of 2016 is something totally different. The game appeared out of nowhere during the fatal four-way match to find a new Universal Champion. In one swift move, Triple H's pedigree on Seth Rollins shifted the balance of power. 
It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers Tommy Dreamer and Rhino to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so did the trash cans and kendo sticks. Tonight, Triple H dropped Seth Rollins with a pedigree, thus handing the WWE Universal Championship to Kevin Owens on a silver platter. will go down as one of the most shocking events in WWE history. No one could believe when Triple H appeared on Monday Night Raw in the first place, let alone sending Seth Rollins crashing to the canvas thanks to the pedigree. That one move changed the entire landscape of sports entertainment. The match in 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts was chaos from the second all eight superstars were in the ring. Ron Strowman was awesome in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept the focus on making sure each member of the Wyatt family crashed through a table. The ECW's originals love a brawling crash with the Wyatt tribe to destroy anyone who stepped in their path. The Wyatt took the advantage after Rhino and Devon Dudley were eliminated, and they didn't look back. But Ray took on the Wyatts with everything he had, but the sick power of the Wyatt family was just too much as seen when Braun Strowman chokeslammed Bubba Ray to the final table. Beautiful technique. Guys, not sure how much more Bobby Roode can take. We're finding out. His outlook is not good at all. I hate to say it, but his chances of going through a table here tonight just went up. At, oh, my goodness. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Oh my goodness. It should be game over here, guys. Dangerous spot for him to be in. You gotta figure out a way to oh so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. We better get a hold of things. Things are looking unfavorable for Kofi Kingston. Looks like he's starting to feel the pressure of competing in this championship match. <laughs> the title is slipping away here. Inside the ring now. Oh, he dodges out of the way. Ooh, no luck against Kingston there. Kofi just too fast. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Back in the ring now. Here it is. Of this match. 
there's got to be some point in the match where those folks start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. As long as these superstars can avoid going through a table, you'd have to think one of them will succumb here sooner than later. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. No telling how long he'll be able to keep this up. Ooh, no luck against Kingston there. Kobe just too fast. Rude's got him hooked. Fisherman suplex. Here's his moment, Michael. Superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Ooh, what impact. Are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Bringing it back into the ring. Superstars can avoid going through a table. You'd have to think one of them will succumb here sooner than later. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. What are we going to see here? Hung up on the What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. He made this table match one for the ages. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. He was on point the entire match. 